Hello and welcome to the Shark Shooter. Today we'll be talking about some super wrestler stars. My guest is Uncle CJ. He knows most about wrestling than anybody his daddy's work team does. <laughs> Oliver, it's a uh, it's an honor to be with you, sir. I got Thank first, you for having me. I got a first question. First question. Okay. Cool. How much moves does the Big Show have? Say that again. How much moves does Big Show have? Big Show, how many moves does he have? Yeah. I can only think of one, honestly. Yeah. I get the choke slam. You know, yeah. takes him up top, takes him all the way down. Yeah, like with the choke, and then he grabs his bottom and he throws him down. Yeah, and that's because he's a big guy. You know, he's not that mobile. He can't but, move good like you or me. But when I saw um him against Brock Lesnar, he did a lot of choke slams, but Brock Lesnar got up really quick. Yeah, and that you bring up a very good point right here. That is something that is wrong with wrestling nowadays. Yeah, is when they, when they give a choke Lesnar slam, is... you want them to go down, right? Yeah. He Brock... shouldn't be getting back up. AJ Styles never gets back up. Never. That's true. And that, uh, would you see him get buried by The Undertaker? Yes, that was funny. That was crazy. That yeah. was really crazy. Because he's not from the darkness. Yeah, well... The darkness was a time, or so AJ's not, or Undertaker's not. AJ's. Yeah, he's not, but Undertaker really wasn't either, right? He came out as like a biker guy. That was weird. Yeah, and um, The Fiend is from the darkness. He's really he is from, the, he's really yeah, from he, the darkness. Whenever really Fiend comes out. What? Whenever Fiend comes out, my life goes into darkness. I get very depressed. You know when that when we were doing the art match, John Cena disappeared into the um Firefly Funhouse. Yeah, I saw that. That was. What did you think of that? Did you like that? Yeah, I like the, but I didn't like the Brock Lesnar one because he lost. So you're you're a big Brock guy. Do you think that's because your dad works in MMA? No, because okay. I because I've been watching WWE. Oh, I know you have been for a minute now. How how long has it been since you've been watching? Like. Until mommy said we can't watch anymore. Oh, so you'd be watching it all day, huh? In the quarantine? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, all right. Cool. Did you know there's... Ollie, what, what were you just watching? The Rocks promos? Why don't you talk about that? I was watching The Rock's promo and I said, It doesn't matter how you feel. Yeah. Didn't it the best when he says that? What's the other thing he says about smelling? You know that one? Can you hear me with that one? If you smell what The Rock's cooking. Hey, isn't it weird to see him as a wrestler and then see him in movies like Jumanji? Yeah, I saw Jumanji in the next level. Which one do you like better, Rock as a wrestler or Rock in Jumanji? Wrestler, cause he, cause he has a sharpshooter move. <laughs> that is interesting that you bring up that move of him. But yes, he does. That's not the move most people think of when they think of the Rock. But that's a good one. Ollie, uh, you you made an interesting comment about you, you <laughs> like the Rock better when he's bald. <laughs> Why? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You don't like that little cut he had? That little like, you don't like his haircut? No. He's stronger when he's bald. Yeah. <laughs> Because he lost um, Stone Cold when he had the hair on, and he's a big bitch man because he was his friend, not the rock. <laughs> That's an astute observation. That's very really good. I, I, uh, I might need to, there, you might be onto something there. Uh, bald Rock does look stronger. I will, I will agree with you there. Yeah. Okay, next question. How strong is John Cena? Man, he is very strong, it seems. It, it, he has the biggest arms, huh? He's stronger than CM Punk. CM yeah. Punk. Yeah, he's definitely stronger than CM Punk. CM Punk is very weak. Very oh, weak. Yeah, but he won my, the first match I ever seen him versus John Cena. Yeah, that was a good one, huh? Yeah. 
Money in the Bank, right? What? What's your favorite wrestler? My favorite wrestler of all time? Yes. Man, it's got to be it's got to be The Rock. Uh, I think because if you know, there's a lot of other guys that I like, but all the stuff that The Rock did was like very important since it was at the top of the company all the time. You know, so all the stuff that he did drew drew more attention to all the other guys. So I really liked what The Rock did with like Stone Cold and Triple H, guys like that. Question two. <laughs> question three now. Oh, your last question. <laughs> your last question of the no, podcast. No more questions. Yes, this of this episode. Yes. Um, can we? And um, question three. How? much belts does Rey Mysterio get? How much how much belts does he have? Yeah. So, I th- I know that for a while, and there was this other company that I don't think you watched. It was called WCW. Have you watched any WCW? No. Okay, okay. Well, we won't get into that. But when he was there, he won the belt, the cruiserweight belt a lot. But when he came to WWE, because he was small, right? They never gave him a chance to win the, the championship until... This one time, I think it was, uh, I forget what year it was, but they finally gave him a world championship run, and it was awesome. Whoa. All right. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's very fun. What do you say to Uncle CJ? Thank you. See you Ollie, thank you for time. having me, man. Am I your first guest? Yes. Yeah, it's it's an honor. It's an absolute honor. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. <laughs> That's it.